yarn abies. Okay, so now that I'm finished my craft fairs and now that I'm almost finished over this cold thing, uh, total transparency here, um, it is time for me to get in my yarn room and clean it the hell up and get ready for uh, 2023. Um, it, my sister was supposed to come and help me quite some time ago. Uh, things didn't work out. So I've decided that I'm going to do this now because I kind of went a little crazy with the Black Friday stuff. And I have a whole bunch of yarn coming. So I need to make some room for it. Um, and I have... Ugh, from the last time that my sister and I came in here and cleaned, I have totes and stuff that I was going to get rid of the yarn that I never did. So now I've got totes sitting here and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I have to get in here and I got to deal with this because I don't like my backdrop. Um, my yarn is all over the place on my shelves. It's very disorganized. Um, I've got holes all over cause I've been, I've been using yarn for my stash to make all of the stuff that I've been making. So yay me. Um, but I also need to fix it and figure out what I'm going to do for 2023. Okay. Um, <clears throat> also I put out a poll asking what you guys wanted to see on my channel. Uh, so far, Tutorials is winning the race. So another reason why I got to get this room dealt with so that I can actually get in here and do tutorials. So I'm going to show this to you. Total transparency. Embarrassed about it. But you know what? This is a vlogger's life. Um, anybody that is a YouTuber will understand this debacle. Um, anybody that works with yarn will understand this chaos. Um, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Um, these are totes that I had from the last time that my sister and I got together and tried to fix this room. Uh, these are totes that I have to go through and I have to figure out what I'm keeping, what I'm not. Although I did go through them already and figured I was getting rid of it all. But now I'm kind of going, well, I don't know. So we'll see. All right. Um, oh God, I can't even get in here. This used to be full of uh, like, uh, like way. I had like a pile of stuff that I had made. Um, it is now gone because I used it at the craft fairs. Uh, I put this table in here because I figured I would wind my yarn to be honest I I don't even use it right I come in I roll a ball a ball up and I I'm gone so this was not the perfect scenario for me so I'm gonna get rid of this table <sighs> figure out what I'm gonna do this is where I do my tutorials it's not working for me anymore I have to figure out what to do with this so that it is functional for me. This used to have all my cakes in it. So George has been using a lot of my cakes for his for his hats. Uh, so you can see a lot of holes. So I'm going to have to revamp this and um, figure out what I'm going to be putting in there. Uh, these are totes up here that I have had up there forever. That I don't even know what I'm going to do with. I don't know if I'm going to use the yarn. Or I don't know. We'll figure it out. This is all my variegated yarns. Um, as you can see I've been using a lot of them. Uh, so I have to figure that out as well. This is the table. I've got a whole bin underneath here. Full of cotton yarn that I need to get out. I want to start using it. Um, I was gifted a whole bunch of it from Jeanette, um, from my, my good friend Jeanette, 
be um, this. <laughs> holy cow can't think um miss hootie hootenin's crafts i want to get in there and i'm going to start using that yarn um so yeah all of this stuff this is all projects and stuff from before that i i don't i it's going to be one of those frog it things or throw it out um i got to figure out what what exactly is in here and deal with that uh, as you can see, oh God, this was supposed to be a tutorial. Um, then I couldn't get the yarn in and then I did get the yarn in and then I lost the hook that I was using for it. I couldn't find the hook that I was using for it. Um, so I stopped the tutorial and then I found the hook. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, it's just a mess. This is a movie marquee sweater that I never finished that I got to get done. Um, this is just yarn stuff that is just a mess. Um, some of these boxes are of yarn that I have was gifted to me that I've got to deal with. Uh, there's a bag under here of yarn that is just scrap yarn, basically. Um, then I've got all of my, oh, this, oh my gosh. I have a ton of stuff in here that I'm, I have to revamp the whole thing, right? I mean, it's just, there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. <clears throat> so I actually would like to get rid of this table. Um, it's a beautiful glass table. I'll probably put it somewhere else in the house, but I want it out of here. What I'm thinking is I may invest in some more of these shelves and put them over there, get rid of this, um, and start uh, putting a big, better shelving in here so that it goes from floor to ceiling. Um, in that corner, that's where my mannequins were. I'm finding that because of the setup that I've got here, because this is where I do my filming, uh, this is going to be the giveaway box for this month. Um, this filming doesn't work for me anymore. So <sighs> I'm kind of hoping that I can figure out how to set up my tutorials and my regular filming station here so that when you can see this back wall, I can have my mannequins out here uh, and you can, oh, oh, see, I got stuff falling all over the place so that you can see my mannequins better with stuff that I've made. Um, so, oh, I picked this up. So we'll kind of, I'm going to go through this and figure it all out. I wish my sister was here to help me, but yeah, um, <laughs> it's just a colossal mess right now. This stuff over here, <clears throat> I've got a lot of my cakes in here. Cotton cakes and Karen cakes and everything. Um, so my my initial was to keep all the cakes in one section, keep all my variegated in one section, and then have all this as my solids. But it didn't work out very well. And, um, so now I'm kind of thinking that I want to have, I don't know, one brand in one cubby with different colors or like, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to figure it out. So this is what I'm working with guys. <laughs> this is the stuff behind the scenes that you don't see. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so we need to, oops, hit the wrong button. So, yeah, I, I need to deal with this because it's just, it gets depressing, right? When you come in here and you see all this, um, it really cramps your crojo. And it, all of a sudden, your mind is muddled. Your, your mind is as muddled as the room. And you can't think. And you can't focus on anything. Um... So I, I'm really revamping, not only this room, I'm revamping my channel. 
Uh, I'm going to try to do things differently in 2023. Um, that's why I've been asking you guys in different polls what you want to see, what you want um, me to do. I would love to do more tutorials uh, this year or this coming year. But if I don't have the proper working space for it, it's not going to happen. So I really need to uh, make this an area that I am comfortable in and make it work so that I can give you guys content that you want. Um, the Movie Marquee Challenge didn't fare so well on my channel. I thought it would, but it didn't. It worked great on Heather's channel, so that's why I passed the torch on to her um, and have her take it and run with it. Um, but I have to figure out for my channel what you guys want, right? It's not about what I want. This channel is for you guys. Um, well, it's for me too, but I want, I don't want to make content that you guys aren't going to watch, right? Because that's wasting my time and that's wasting your time. So, um, I'm really going to lean on you guys for, for that kind of support and to tell me, uh, what you guys really want. Okay. Uh, but for me, what I really want and what I really need is to get this dealt with so that I can move forward. So, yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, you guys, I thought I was going to be able to get this done in maybe a day. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I thought that. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, so here we go. So far, this table right here is going to be where I do all of my shipping stuff. Um, I still got a whole bunch of stuff to deal with here. So this is where I'm going to do all my packing and shipping and all that. This over here, this table is going to be my filming area and my tutorial area. Uh, this is going to be where all my cottons are going to go. And believe it or not, you guys, all of this, I've decided that I'm going to start putting into mystery boxes for sale on my um, Etsy page. So, yeah, that's not all of it either. That's just what I've come up with so far. <laughs> Okay, so I moved this over here. I put this little thing in here. I don't know what I'm going to put on there yet. All of this is going to be um, the new yarns that come in, I think. Maybe. Um, I've got all of my Heartland up there. I've got my um, Sweet Roll Vivids here. I've got some velvet yarn that I've had for a while there. I have my Ogo Halos. Uh, there and then I've got some chunky yarn here that I've 
I've got, I've had for a bit, um, except for that, that Angela gave me that. <laughs> okay. And then I've got all my variegated stuff over here so far. Well, not all variegated, but, um, now that I've just thought of that, that, all of that, that's all cotton stuff. That's got to go over here. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so yeah, so I've got that there. And then I've got all my amigurumi stuff that I've done. And then I've got my Billy, my Billy doll there. Um, this I still have to deal with. This is all my fur that I have for my um, scooties. And my mannequins are going to go back over here. And then uh, I have to deal with all of this. I, I got to deal with what's up there. Um, and then, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of space so so far uh that i've got a i've <laughs> oh you guys i got so much stuff um this stuff i still have to deal with this is garbage um but yet i have not even gotten out here yet so i've got all of this and all of this that i have to deal with so far look it's dark out <laughs> Ah, oh, so yeah, so I still have to deal with all this. I've got a couple of boxes that I'm going to do for Goodwill. Um, yeah, God, yeah, so yeah, so I'm getting there, but it would be so much faster if I had my sister here, <sighs> but I don't, <laughs> so it is what it is, and yeah. I'll give you an update when I get it. You guys, I am so excited. <sighs> George and I discussed it, and I called the Haven House. It's a um, organization that helps women of violence, and um, they're going to take all this yarn. I mean, look at it all, you guys. <laughs> like, I've got all of this. And they're going to take it all. I included a bunch of um, crochet hooks. And yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hey, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. So we're on our way to Haven House. And all of this. <laughs> we're donating all the yarn that Sandy bought that she doesn't want. It's not that I don't want it. Thousands just... of dollars worth of yarn. Oh, whatever. <laughs> It's going to a good cause. Haven House is, our, in case you don't know, is our local um, battered women's shelter here. So this will give uh, the ladies that are in a pretty tough situation that are crafty uh, some lots of yarn and lots of, uh, we've thrown some hooks in there and Sandy's put all kinds of goodies in there for them. So it was either just throw this away, try to sell it or try to find a good use for it. So I've worked for the Haven House a couple of times. Uh, doing some cleaning there and it's a very very worthy cause so I got the idea and Sandy was kind of thinking the same way we sort of both came up with it at the same time so it must be karma caramel I guess but uh, yeah anyway it's making this feel kind of Christmassy because right now Sandy and I haven't really been uh, feeling it a whole lot uh, with a lot of stuff that's going on but uh, anyway yeah. this will be a really nice thing for us to do for some people that can really use it Okay, mission accomplished. Um, They're very, very happy. Uh, yeah. You couldn't believe how much stuff we gave them, but really, uh, it's helping us because Sandy's junking yeah. out the yarn room, and and uh, even though we gave a lot away, surprisingly, a huge box of yarn showed up at our house today. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Somehow, and we're replace, going to pick up another one. Replace, and um, we're going on our way to the post office now to yeah. grab some more. So. Yeah. This one I thought we could finally see the floor in Sandy's craft room. <laughs> uh, anyway. I have a whole bunch of spots on my um, on my bookshelves and stuff for the yard, so yay. <laughs> Sandy's doing a major yarn room makeover. Yeah. Um, Video to come. She want, Yeah, she wants to get it organized a little more functional. Yeah. Because uh, the way it was set up, she barely had enough room to sit oh, in there. It was crazy. And film anything. Uh, so. <clears throat> yeah. 
It was actually kind of cute when we walked in there. There was a, a young boy there. He had to have been, what, eight? Yeah. Eight, eight, eight years old. You should have seen his eyes light up when all that yarn came in. I couldn't believe it. I was just like, oh, well, maybe he crochets or maybe he knits or something because he went at those totes like, like it was toys. It was crazy. And he grabbed a couple of balls and they left. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, and maybe it's a, you know, up and coming crocheter. Another so, Gary. Yeah. So uh, I was, I was really happy about that. And all the ladies were like, okay, get out of the way. We're going to go and look through this. And then the other lady's saying, well, now I want to crochet something. <laughs> so, so yeah, I we really... gave them the evil central machine that kept yeah. dropping all the stitches when I tried to use it. So hopefully yeah. the curse is over. Yeah. So they got a central machine. They got a bunch of crochet hooks and a whole whack and bunch of yarn. And so. snaps and buttons and oh yeah I gave them magnetic snaps I gave them like um, just a bunch of findings and stuff so yeah they're gonna have a lot of fun with that so anyway so that was good now we're off to the post office yay to get more yarn <laughs> yeah. well I just got the shock of a lifetime I went to the post office to get my Hirschner's order and I got two big boxes right here and George is bringing out another one cost me $460 for the yarn, Canadian. I just got charged over $200 for shipping. I was shocked. Okay, you guys, I think I'm nearly finished this room. Um, okay, here we go. This is my packing station. This is where I'm going to do all my shipping. And this is where I'm going to do all my filming. That down there is all my gemstones and everything, uh, or crystals and stuff that I'm going to be putting on my um, other channel. And here's all my cotton here. With I've got my books. For those of you that don't know, yes, I've written a book. Um, it's in my Etsy page. And then I've got all my my gifts from my wonderful Sandy from um, Left is Right Crochet. My sister gave me that. <laughs> uh, so I got all my cotton there. This is all the yarn that is going to be in the um, uh, mystery boxes that I'm going to be putting up for sale. Um got my ball winder here this shelf has nothing in it yet yet <laughs> um, this shelf is going to have all the new yarns that I'm got in I've got like four unboxings to do and then I have I got that from Rosalie at yarn it out I got this from Lynette at charm Grammy uh, and then all my amigurumis that I've done. And then I've got my variegated yarns here. I still have some room in here. My vacuum cleaner. <laughs> um, all of my fur for my scooties. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this yet. So I'm just leaving it there. Um, this stuff eventually will get moved. This is a bag of baby clothes for my niece. That is a bunch of crochet books that I'm going to be donating to the Goodwill. Uh, that just has some random stuff in it. There's a couple of whips there that may or may not ever get done. That's a box of stuff that I thought I had in with my stuff for the craft fairs that were finished and I didn't. So that's got to go in a tote and be put downstairs. That is some whips. That is a package that's being mailed. That is a package that's being mailed. I just stuffed that in there just to get it out of the way. That I still have to go through. But I have lots of room now for the new yarn that's coming in. So, yeah. 
So that's, that's garbage. <laughs> so that's my new room, guys. Um, so far. So now I think I'm ready. I can start doing my unboxings and get all the yarn put away. Uh, and then I'm going to deal with this stuff. Um, I'm probably not going to be doing those until the new year. So I got to get my mannequins back put back up here in that corner. And then other than that, like I have this spot right here. I have something special that's going in there. So I just got to get it framed and put it in and then you guys will see it. So that's, that's it guys. That's, oh, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work, but it's almost done and I couldn't be happier. Um, so this is going to be when I'm filming over here. This is sort of going to be what you guys are going to see in the video. You're going to see more than that. But um, that's the angle um, where my video is going to be. That, that, I got that from Sandy. It left his right crochet. It's beautiful. It makes a nice backdrop for my mannequin. So, yeah. So there you go. <sighs> so let's do some unboxings, eh? Okay, see you later. Okay. <laughs> I look at a hot mess. You guys, I'm sorry. I hope you can hear me. Um, my camera is a lot further away than normal. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So what do you guys think? This is going to be full of yarn. So, <clears throat> and this won't be here eventually. But, um, yeah. What do you think of the new setup? Should my camera be up more? Should it be, you know, like position different? Uh, let me know. So it's been a long few days of trying to get this finished. <clears throat> but I am so glad that it's almost done. Uh, I feel so much better about it. And I just realized looking at it that you're not going to be able to see my mannequins here. So I'm going to have to put them out more here now that I'm looking at it <laughs> oh <clears throat> I mean I thought about putting it up putting the camera up more and kind of face down a little bit but I don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out it's going to be a process um, I do feel a lot better about this because I have a lot more room now to move around and um yeah, it is so much more organized. I can breathe in here. I can feel good about being in here. Um, I don't have everything all crunched onto one table where I have to do, you know, all of my tutorials and my shipping stuff and all of that all in one space. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy, I think. Uh, until next time. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me. Um, I know this is probably going to be a, lot, a bit of a long video. I'll try to trim it down as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you guys like the video. And uh, no nasty comments, okay? <laughs> I know I'm a yarn hoarder. And I know I had a lot of stuff. But you know what? I donated a lot of stuff. You guys saw it. I donated a lot of stuff to the women's shelter. I am so happy I was able to do that. That made me feel so good. Um, and now I've got all of this, all of all this stuff that's going to be going into mystery boxes and are going to be up for sale. Um, I haven't figured out yet if I'm how I'm going to do the U.S. shipping. I have to figure all that out, but, um, yeah, it's, it is what it is. Uh, and huh, so now we can do, start doing the unboxings. I've got four huge boxes and I mean huge 
boxes to um, to show you guys from Hirschner's and Premier. <sighs> it's going to have to be split up in different videos because there's no way I'm going to be able to get it all in one. So, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.